morning traders welcome to the privateer fx asian preview and the north american wrap very quiet session here as expected on a uh, first trading day of the week with the new fed chair powell speaking tomorrow his testimony will be released at 8 30 new york time in the morning q a starts at 10 o'clock new york a couple of the uh couple of research pieces I've been reading about it. Um, I think there's a risk that the market interprets Powell's comments to be modestly dovish, given that he is likely to reiterate there's need to be patience with the rate of uh, the pace of the rate hikes and is not, will we'll probably not sound all that concerned about uh, the recent move higher in inflation. So, that would catch the market, we think, a bit by surprise with the, if you look at the positioning in the 10-year treasuries, they've, they've taken back some of the shorts, but they were, they were at record shorts, and the latest CFTC data shown that um, some of the hedge funds and faster money types have taken back some of the short positioning. But still, if we pop over and look at the the yields, take a look at the 10-year yields to see where we are. We, well, let's look at the daily here. They ended up selling off during Europe, Asia and Europe, and, and then had a nice bounce. Uh, the yields bounced back up. We got down to about 283 in the 10-year, closed up here at 286. So uh, not, I wouldn't really call it a bullish bar, but uh, definitely assuming they were selling off with equities take a look at the S&P daily chart here we're just another straight up big big bar up you know 30 40 handle rally and we are getting close to this last Fibonacci that we talked about this 28 figure to 2810 level which matches up um, right up here and against those old lows before the big sell off on that Friday was 2810 so I think this is going to be a pretty good inflection point for um, for the S&Ps. You know, one thing that people have been talking about and we discussed last week is uh, as we approach month end and we're, we're, you know, a couple of trading days away from month end, because equities were down a lot during February, the monthly rebalance would be equity positive and even bond positive for that matter, uh, where they have to, where they have to buy to re rebalance their portfolios. Now we started discussing this when the S and P's were down about four and a half percent on the month. They're only down about one point six percent, I think, after today's rally. I'd have to double check, but uh, we had about a one point four percent rally. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, you know, the, the need for equity buying as we approach month end is less and less because of the big rally that we've seen. And you can see this here in the chart over the past few days from 2682 to 2784 closing today. That's a 100 point rally. Um, you know, there'll be less demand for the rebalance um, for, for those players that are rebalance of their portfolios at, at month end so we still think uh, we'll see you know we got a couple days left until the the month end but it, early indications is dollar buying um, you know European equities on the other hand are still down three and a half four percent so there could be some interesting flows in the currency space on the uh, on the last day of the month uh, as far as currencies go let's take a look at uh, you know, not a whole lot happened today. Cable had kind of an interesting bar. We rallied on some bullish Brexit news, the same BS that we hear all the time. Got pretty close to this fibble that we've been, left some offers up here and just, just missed that today, unfortunately. And then closed lower and, you know, not, not a great looking daily bar, uh, you know, off its lows. But uh, again, that thing is, it's next to impossible to trade. It's just a headline. Headline game. Kiwi, uh, the trade balance was expected to be a surplus this month, and it came in weaker as a, as a half a million uh, or 566 uh, million Kiwi deficit. So, 
the initial reaction here is this bar, that's our reversal lower bar, took out three hours of lows and you know closed out here for New York and we're trading slightly lower. This to me looks like it wants to retrace this move from 72.70 up to 73.45. It's probably got some more room on the downside. Uh, other than that, I mean, take a look at the cable. It got hit. There was some talk of uh, month-end uh, supply that started in uh, around 6 a.m. New York, and it really struggled, and it's just gone sideways. So overall, very quiet session. Uh, we do have some. We have Japan. Pan CPI, which could be interesting, and then we have uh, all the German uh, CPI numbers coming out, as well as the the main German number, uh, the Europe, Eurozone CPI comes out the following day, and then the highlight I think for tomorrow will be Powell. So pay attention to uh, the CPI data coming out. Uh, you'll hear from us on the. European Open, and good luck trading. All the best.